remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Tonight is music's biggest event. It's the 62nd annual Grammys, but it does not come without scandal. Former Recording Academy president and CEO, Deborah Dugan, went on Good Morning America and told all of the family secrets. I mean, she told where every single body was buried. She spoke with George Stephanopoulos about her recent Oscar from the Academy, as well as her subsequent legal complaint, which alleges a boys club and corrupt voting patterns on the Academy's part and brings to light a rape allegation against former CEO Neil Portnow. The voting process behind the awards is ripe with corruption involving several committees, which she claims push forward artists with whom they had relationships with. During the 2019 Song of the Year voting process, for instance, Deborah claims that an artist who was represented by a member of the board was initially ranked 18 out of 20, but was somehow appointed to the nominating committee for that category and subsequently received the award over Ed Sheeran and Ariana Grande. She also said that she was propositioned by the general counsel for the Academy, a very enormously powerful person. Here's what the Academy had to say. After we received the employee complaints against Ms. Dugan, she, for the first time, made allegations against the Academy, the statement reads. In response, we started a separate investigation into Ms. Dugan's allegations. Ms. Dugan's attorney then informed the executive committee that if Ms. Dugan was paid millions of dollars, she would withdraw her allegations and resign from her role as CEO. Following that communication from Ms. Dugan's attorney, Ms. Dugan was placed on administrative leave as we complete both of these investigations. I wrote a song about it for the Ghetto Boys back in 91. Trophy. It's rigged. The Tonys are rigged. The Oscars are rigged. All of the award shows are rigged. All of them. How else do you explain a trash artist walking away with the so-called most coveted award in the music industry? And you got an artist like Tupac or Ghetto Boys who have never won one Grammy. Not one. Not a half a Grammy. How else do you explain some of these actors who are just absolutely great, never winning an Oscar, but you have a eh, subpar, okay actor walking away with one? And sometimes you have a very good artist or a very good actor who walks away with one and they probably did a good job, but there were so many other people did better jobs, so many other movies that were better, but they walked away with one because they were overdue for one. So, um, you know, let's give it to them this time. Not cool, man. So now, Deborah has explained to you guys what you see when you're watching an artist perform and then next thing you know, that artist wins an award. It's like, look, okay, y'all want me to perform? I ain't finna come all the way out there and perform. I'm not finna stop my tour and come out there and do this if I'm not walking away with the trophy. So y'all let me know right now what's up. See what I'm saying? Or like she was saying that how they manipulate the nomination process to make sure that certain artists or certain albums and songs are performed 
when the producer wants to hear a certain song on the show. So if the producer wants to hear a certain song performed, well then they just make sure that that artist gets nominated. Sometimes they don't win, but oftentimes they do, especially if they're a big artist. It's all smoke and mirrors. She also made another point. She said that the most prestigious awards seldom go to R&B artists like Beyonce and Kanye West. I guess he is R&B, R&B rap, whatever he is. But I mean, I guess he, he, he whatever the dollar say. But it seldom goes to people like Beyonce. Instead, that prestigious award, I'm talking about the album of the year or even song of the year, it often is going to go to a pop country or one of those, uh, what do you call them? You got pop, you got country. What am I missing? Pop, country, and um, rock and roll. That's what I'm trying to say. So that's where it's going to go in most cases. Why? Because most of the committee is white males. And so they're going to nominate what they listen to. Bingo. Easy, y'all. This is easy work. And, you know, she ain't said nothing that everybody don't already know. She's just a person that's on the inside and she's exposing uh, the inner uh, workings of this this big old scam they got going on. Remember when Adele, Adele won album of the year over Beyonce's Lemonade and everybody, like the whole collective music industry, music lovers, the creators of music, uh, you know, the champions of music, the experts, all pretty much agreed collectively that Beyonce's Lemonade was a masterpiece. It was so good that Adele found it necessary to include to include not just an acknowledgement of it in her acceptance speech, but she bragged about how great it was, how monumental, that was the word she used, how monumental it was. And everybody sitting up there knowing Beyonce got robbed. But, you know, you got accepted because that's the game they play. So that's why I stopped watching award shows. I ain't watched award show in over two decades. I don't watch it, man. I just, I can't stomach it. Because it's, it's, I can't even watch it for entertainment purposes. I don't want to see it. I catch the clips on YouTube or uh, on Instagram or Facebook or something. But there you go. There you have it, y'all. Y'all let me know. Y'all still going to watch it, huh? Drop a comment. Let me know what you think about this. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about?